What's up, what's up, what's up? Just the feature JP I mean, Yaws. If you guys watch the video, I'm going to talk to y'all send me about images, power and stuff like that. And pretty good. And it was really interesting because I had just made the video about statistics and it was almost about the same thing. And I had deleted it. So when I watched that video, I I'm going to do it again. Okay, basically statistics is a word that kind of have this this kind of false impression on some people that is the truth. Okay, and that the reason those statistics exist might be um, the fault of, how can I say, of, um, well, of course it's going to be the fault, but it's like, it seems like it's only just that, you know, they don't really look at the problems and stuff like that, you know, due to this, due to this cause and stuff like that, so, um, and when people use these statistics, they just say, bam, this is it, you know, and without any of the, um, dreams attached or the roads that lead to global costs and stuff like that. So I get a lot of these statistics about black men in jail and crime and rape and blah 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 this. And it was interesting because I had this one conversation with this one guy saying that uh, he's trying to use the same things, you know, for blacks and stuff. And I said, well, what about the past? I mean, um, Europe went on this world domination thing and they could just basically violate it. Of all, of all the categories, the whole earth, everybody on every continent, you know, so, I mean, what we did, sure, we, we got our crime and stuff, most of it's done towards each other, ourselves, which, you know, Europeans did to everyone else, and concluded themselves, but uh, there's no matching in the numbers, you know, and you say, well, I want to, what we're talking about today, and I'm like, well, you can't, I say, well, those statistics are, you know, going to pass, you can't, you know, talk about stat statistics of today, you know, without the past, you know. But anyway, let me get to the point. Um, you young black men and women out there that hear about these statistics and stuff like that, you have to understand the uh, cause of those situations. Uh, a lot of brothers went to jail, you know, because of um, drug dealing and stuff like that. They had this uh, disparity law, something like that. I think it's one to a hundred. So, Somebody selling, but basically it was a, a black drug dealer and a white drug dealer. The white drug dealer can sell, let's say, 100 grams of cocaine in my year one year, and her brother can sell 100 grams of cocaine and get 100 years or something like that. So that's basically what it was. You know, it was like favoritism towards white people and poor, you know, white people towards blacks. Um, was really hard on us, so a lot of brothers got caught, probably didn't even know the rules and everything, got sent to jail for years, you know, just for selling something, you know, and then someone else can have the same amount and um, powder cocaine and probably be tossed out of jail, you know, I mean, not tossed out of jail, tossed out of court, so, and when you, so when you listen to these statistics, you know, it kind of, it kind of like, before, you know, I was thinking about it too, and it kind of like, uh, it kind of made me put myself in that category. But I'm going to tell you, you can have people selling drugs here. I haven't ever sold drugs. Okay, you can have people taking crack. I've never taken crack. Okay, I've never shot anyone. I, I ain't going to say, you know, probably, uh, I've never shot anybody. I'll just leave it at that. And... I just didn't do crime, you know, I just didn't do crime, and it wasn't that I didn't want to, but it was more or less because there was no need to, okay, so a lot of you young brothers, every time they put that out, you know, and they seem that like they put it out to make us sad, or me sad, or you sad, but if you're not part of this group, why would you get sad, I mean, you can feel compassion for the people who got stuck in those situations, and because of certain situations, but because of, uh, you know, a lot of blacks don't get the fair, the justice that they deserve, and uh, had been like a white person, then, you know, doing the same thing, then they would get off, or the penalty would be reduced, or, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So we have to understand that the, um, 
those statistics out there about us. They're just out there to make us look bad. And but um, I'm not saying that there are not any bad, bad black people out there. But I, what I am saying is it it, pre, it produces an image um, within those people who read it. It produces an image, and this image is a bad image. And sometimes, you know, it's like you know how they say. Um, White people don't like themselves, but they tend to project their image of what they don't like on us. Or they say, um, yeah, so that's what we, you know, that's what I hear and stuff like that. And basically what it is is when we read those statistics, then it's like this is a bad image. And then for those people who are not involved in those things, it's like we put them on ourselves. You know, and then you walk around like, yeah, you know, this and that. And you shake that. Okay, shake that. Because I'm sure majority of black men in America are not um, bad people. You know, and I'm not even going to go there. You know, I just want to say for you out there who are not into it, you are not a bad person. Okay, and just because someone else does something, regardless of the color, you know, whether some people get off, some people go to jail forever or whatever. You know, the whole thing is you're not part of it, so don't let those statistics and things like that um, paint a picture with you in it. And if you're not in it, you know, don't imagine things in your head. So please um, get rid of that. There are, like, a lot of things that I wanted to say um, about images and stuff, like on TV and, and the way we dress and, and, you know, you're looking out and a lot of these things that people are saying. And basically what it is, is, is if, you, if you utter something or you hear something and you keep doing it for a long, long time, what's going to happen is you're going to take on this image. You know, eventually it's going to overwhelm you and it's going to take, on, it's going to take you on. So, a good example of that is like um, my Do You Love Black Men book, um, videos. I haven't made any in a long time and I only made them videos for a reason. And the reason was to get black men to travel, um, get them out of the United States and travel to see that there is peace around the world. And you don't have to worry about cops chasing you. There's places you can go. And if you get married anyway, um, you, can, you still have the same footing. Or if you got a um, degree and you know, you're teaching English or doing whatever job it is, you got a permit to work because you got a degree. Then, and you want to start a business that you're on the same play, um, platform, especially here in Japan, as white people. In other words, they don't really have an advantage you, over you. Now, the ones who do have seem to have an advantage, they would be the, uh, it would seem like there would be the Jewish people that are out here, the graduates came out here and they established different things. And you know who they are because a lot of them, they did tell who they are. Like I was watching a video the other day, and this guy was talking about, he was doing a uh, seminar about uh, English, something, um, vowels or something, reading or whatever. And he just started talking about Spock doing this, you know, the Balkan sign, and he said that's a Jewish sign that got out of the uh, priest, you know, out of the, uh, you know, the priest used to do that, and he said that it's Larry Nimoy is Jewish, and, and Captain Jason. T. Kirk, whatever his real name is, he was Jewish and this. And I'm thinking like, okay, why? You know, but I do notice that there are a lot of um, Jewish people out here doing this English thing, but, you know, I was thinking like, okay, you know, and then I'm thinking like, okay, fine, because, you know, actually they did, um, if you read the history about it and stuff, they had the money to build these colleges and, you know, did this and then, and then all the people went in and stuff and, you know, so of course they're going to have a monopoly out here. But because they don't exactly run Japan, and I don't think they're really trying to take it over, but I think it's more like an um, economical thing, but I'm not sure what I think it is. Um, okay, bye. Um, they are really um, got their cause and things, you know. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's a good thing, you know, they, they work together. And um, a lot of people don't do that. So. So basically, um, going back to my um, reason for you, do you love black men videos, 
It's that, and then the connection is, gosh, I'm a, there was a connection I had, I can't remember what it was supposed to be like. Oh, so basically what I was saying was like, you come out here, and it was to get people to come out here and to see that um, you'll see this stuff. You know, you'll see the opportunities that you can do, the lot of money that you can make if you're black, if you're smart, intelligent. They'll come out here with their, um, their thoughts, oh, we're black, and they, you know, I see a Japanese woman, and they think I'm a rape woman and stuff. You know, they don't think like that. You know, they, they all men do so many crazy things to them that they're more scared of Japanese men they are than they're scared of black people. And, or black men, trust me, they're more scared of black people. And so you don't have to worry about that. But basically, like I said, it was the uh, Do You Love Black Men videos produced the image. And this image, the, the, well, the reason I wanted to do was just to say, hey, you come out here, you see how things are, the women are here, they're not saying they hate you, and they're not calling you no N-words or nothing like that. You know, they do appreciate, uh, respect you, and they will date you. Okay, but then on the same side, I made my videos about be careful with these women because they'll whip it on you, and then they'll whip you, you know, and they'll put you right in their pocket, and they do that to all the guys out here too. So, you know, even though I did show that image, I did show, you know, I didn't want to just make an image of guys come out here to get hurt and get mad at me. No, the image is just there to say, you come here, you do your work, and you can see the piece that's here, then go back to America and change things, you know, and go back to a lot of people don't, a lot of people do, you know. But the whole thing was my, but when people look at the videos, they don't see the reason, that's why I have to make a reason for it. And people looked at it and they saw good, they saw these girls, they saw someone loved them. And so a lot of people said, what? I am going to go to Japan. How do I get to Japan? I get a lot of letters, you know, um, like me and uh, Ron, we did the Starbucks videos and from those videos, a lot of people read and said, hey, they straightened up the schools. I get mail from guys saying, hey, thank you. You know, when I was in junior, I'm graduating high school now. I saw your videos when I was junior high school. And I got my study on, and I graduated. I'm going to, going to college. I got brothers saying I went to uh, junior high school. I graduated, and I'm getting my BA degree. I'm going for my master's. One guy was going to send me two thousand five hundred dollars for my I started for my business. I told her that it was not necessary. Take the money, go to school, and start a business. I think a year or two later, year or two, three years later, he called me and said he started his own business with the money. You know, which is cool. Whatever, start his own business. And you know, and so basically what it is, is that this image that um, I put up there was for people to go out. But what happened was people looked at the image and they, they just used it however they wanted to use it. And some kind, a lot of people contacted me. And I said, okay, well this, you need to have a VA. You know, but the, uh, and if you, and let's say without the image of the women, if I say go to school, go to school, okay, fine. But the image of those beautiful women, you know, young, you know, they all in, um, all of them are in um, um, college, you know. And that image was so powerful that it really shook a lot of guys and say, wow, I'm going to Japan. What do I need to go to Japan? and then go get the degrees. And this one guy got his degree and he emailed me and he said, Ralph, you know, I got a degree and I said I was gonna to come to Japan, but I got a good job offer in America. I don't know how many figures, I'm thinking it was six, but he said it was an incredible amount. He said he's gonna pass on Japan and take the job since it's in America and he's already there. And I was like, of course, <laughs> no, take that job, you know? But the whole thing was the image you know, the positive, the positive image of those videos just really shook up a lot of guys and made them do things that maybe they thought they couldn't do or they probably wouldn't have had ever done at the time that they did it. And so, how many men? A lot of guys come out here visiting, some girls come out here, you know, visit, I talk to them and stuff, you know, meet and things like that. So the whole thing about the images are, there are important, let me do a part two. On this.